Oh, hey, Pot Noodles. How's it going? It went really well. Thanks for asking. We, we had a great time. Um, it's, it's pretty wild to have all that done. Um, yeah, I guess, uh, we'll just, we'll just get started, why not? Let's just, let's play the game. Um, streamed it yesterday? Ah, right, I forgot. Oh, nice playing Fortnite with your dad, hell yeah. I forgot about the symbol of avarice. I don't think we're gonna keep that on. It's fun. Uh, but... I, I mean, I kind of would like to wear the onion hat as well. Uh, but you know, well, let's just go back to the setup we had before. The Fallen Knight. Yeah, it just, it looks good. I just like it. I guess we were wearing the Jailer's pants that we stole from them. Which, I, why not? I'll keep those on. Um, I know I had, had something to do here in Firelink. What was it? What, well, I guess we can place Yorm's, um, cinders. Uh, I guess I could do that. There we go. There's Yorm's head. <laughs> Very nice. So we've just got Lothric and Lorien left. Um, out of out of all of the Lords of Cinder to collect. And then DLC stuff. But yeah, to, to get to Lothric and Lorien, we gotta go fight Dancer. Um, let's see if, if Greyrot got anything new to say to us. I think we're going to get access to a whole bunch of um, Titanite scales coming up soon. So, that's somewhat exciting. Uh, no, he's not... You can keep the ring as... Sure. You can keep as... Is that all he's got to say? Yes. Oh, right, I sent a, um... Another pyromancer back, right? Is it you? As I said, no. The only thing that might interest you... Oh, no, you're a sorcerer. Are a, that wouldn't... You, sure, why not? You're a wicked very well. Some may avert that. Be careful, though. Let Is she gonna call me secret. stupid like the last sorcerer? Oh, no. But I can give her the pyromancy and tone. One that resonates with you. <laughs> very well. I will add... Besides... What kind of damage does... That? These probably do, like, dark damage. That would make sense. They're called, like, hexes in, in Dark Souls 2, but I don't know if they are in this one. Seems cool. I, I'm not nearly... My character is nowhere near smart enough for any of that. We're, we're much too busy praying, I think. Uh, I, wouldn't, I don't think we've got any more miracles to learn. Although, you know what? I do want to try to equip the, um, oh, please, the funny burst you. one. Uh... I mean, Dark Blade is cool, but I can't use it quite yet. Um, considering Wolnir's sword can't be, um, what'd you call it? Uh, infused, that's the word. So, yeah, uh, I guess, I guess nothing then. We'll just buy another ember, why not? Give it here. Oh, I have an ash to give you. Xanthus ashes. Gracious. Let this ash. I only hope these new. <laughs> sure. Um. I mean, I guess I'll look. Rings. All good and well. Some more armor. Smo's armor, huh? Oh, that's funny. We can get the big funny Smo armor. Um. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we care too much about all this. Let's, um... Yeah, I was gonna buy it. A single ember. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then let's equip that other miracle. Not project force. What is it called? Not... Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's force, emit force. Wrath of the Gods. It uses two slots. That's a little lame. But you know what? I'll allow it. Um, I'm sure it's decent. We could charge it up too, huh? That's pretty cool. Well, well why not? 
You know, I should really unequip that pyromancy flame. Not doing us a whole hell of a lot of good, is it? I, I guess I could upgrade the chime, huh? Do I have a better one? 153... Seemingly no. Um, I think you have some more chimes for sale as well, right? Or talismans, I don't really know what's the difference. 150, 154, that's ever so slightly better. I, I guess. Okay, yeah, shut up. Uh, let's pop some souls and get this slightly better thing. And then we can upgrade it a little bit to actually make use of this uh, miracle. Where was it? I just, just went right past it, didn't I? Canvas talisman. Let's go. You can buy infinite of those? That's a little weird, but sure. Um, okay, one. One additional spell scaling. Very nice. Uh, can you infuse these talismans? That would be a little weird if you could. Yeah, you cannot. Where is it? Oh, I got the, the jailer's soldering... If they call it a soldering iron? That's actually very funny. What is it? Oh, it's a quality weapon? Okay, well, that's fine, I guess. Ah, oh, here we go. It just uses regular Titanite stuff, so I'll just upgrade this as far as I can. Oh, additional items required. I need more chunks, man. Okay, well, we have 174 scaling now. That seems better, I guess. Oh, no, don't hit her. Oh, I just killed the Shrine Maiden. Well, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I think she respawns. Shit, dude. Well, the... <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I pushed the button and I don't think there, there was anything I could do. You can't roll out of it. Is she really just dead? I guess I'm glad I didn't hit the firekeeper. Well, that's all the buying of items that we get to do from her, huh? Good. Very good. I'm proud of myself for that one. Uh, okay, uh... Let's, just, let's get a level up, I guess? Welcome speak. <laughs> She's like, you kind of just killed my friend, dude. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh, I need 22, okay. Alright, 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 alright. Jesus. I... Very clever of me. I'll have to look up if there's a way to fix that. Um, if not, I just like <laughs> lost the shopkeeper uh, out of pure stupidity. Okay. Well, brilliant. Brilliant as ever. Um, so I guess we want to go to Vort of the Boreal Valley, so that we can fight Dancer. We're taking dancing lessons, folks. <laughs> Holy Toadman is an idiot and accidentally kills uh, necessary NPCs. <laughs> Man. Oh, I could not have screwed that up any worse, could I? Well... We should be, like, way over-leveled for these enemies now, which is nice. Backstab you? No. Well, I'm real proud of myself for just killing the Shrine Maiden for kind of no reason. Okay, I'm glad I'm over-leveled for you, because you were kind of kicking my ass. Backstab? Nice. Any items? Yes. Yeah, I, I really do miss the um, being able to see when an enemy drops an item in Elden Ring. It's quite nice. Let's give this guy what for. You don't get to buff your weapon, dude. 
refined gem. Sure. Simply sure. Alright, let's give Dancer a stab. Did I get an Estus back? For that? I, I can't say I fully understand that. Is in your hands. Please save his soul. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell him what he must be a law. Okay, sure. Got the basin. You know, it would be pretty funny if they just dump you right into the dancer fight after killing Yorm or Aldrich or whatever. I I don't think it's possible to kill the Abyss Watchers last. Because you need to kill them before you can get to either of the other two. I'm, I'm sure there's some glitch that allows it, but clipping through the floor or something. I should go back to the Abyss Watchers arena while Embered, because I think there's some cool invasion that takes place there. Uh, but for now, we're going to get our ass kicked by the Dancer. This is... At least the first time I fought this boss, she kicked my ass. Um... On subsequent playthroughs, it was a little easier. But she's still hard. Let's, let's, let's try this. Why not? That did decent damage. Yeah, I always see people put stuff online like, Oh, she... This boss is in 3-4, and all the other bosses are in 4-4, and that's not really how that works. Uh, as somebody who has done a little bit of the musics. Not, not entirely how that works. I mean, maybe the attacks are in... ...threes, but I don't really think so. Six, seven, eight, nine? Oh. Okay, I can't count. That's fine. Doing okay so far, but all it takes is one grab. I do really like how she just sets the arena on fire as you go through this fight. Something that they reuse for Frida in the DLC. Alright, dance here. I, I would be a little surprised if I first try this, but... Compared to, like, some of the bosses in Shadow of the Earth Tree, this is really no sweat at all. She just gives you long-ass openings. Okay. It's not choke, though. Oh god, I can't see what's happening. This seriously took me like two hours of attempts my first try. Okay, let's... let's... Oh, I choked it. <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay, well... I guess we are taking dancing lessons. Um, let's give that another try. Oh, I was embered too, so I had more health that time than I will. Oh, excuse you, sir. Don't be stabbing me. It's quite rude. Alright. Guys. No cutscene this time, though. Just straight into it. Get those 5k, why not? Oh, and there is the grab. Oh, I live with a, just a shred of health. I was a bit low due to getting hit by some of those enemies, but... Okay, no grab twice for you. Oh, I strafed that somehow. Don't backhand me. The 
footsteps are kind of menacing. This is a cool ass boss, I gotta say. One of my favorite like designs from this game. I I think the lore behind this is that like the dancer was experimented on by Pontiff Sullivan. Okay. We didn't get owned by the face transition attack, that's nice. It would be pretty funny if I struggle more with this than I did with Pontiff. Oh, damn. Okay, well that's that. <laughs> I was so confident the first time. The dancer said no. It is funny, every time I play through one of these games, I seem to um, struggle with a boss that I, I didn't on a previous try. Um, and I think that's just the way it goes. Um, yeah, playing through Shadow of the Earth Tree on my first time, I, I killed Midra on the second try. And then in, in my subsequent playthrough, it took me several hours. Which I feel a, a little silly for. This is not that hard. Oh, I thought I dodged that. Okay. Oh, that was the explosion, huh? I just, I did not see that coming. Just barely outspaced that. You know, I really like Dancer's Swords. I wish, um, wish they were actually good. I have heard that all of the boss weapons in this game are either just awful or, like, incredibly good. Seems like, um, Wolnir's sword that we've been using is in the quite good camp. Okay, nice. Don't want to be too greedy. I can do it this time, surely. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I just shouldn't say anything. I shouldn't say anything. That was, what, the third try? Let's see if I can do it on the fourth. <laughs> the more attempts this takes, the just worse I'm going to perform, because that just tends to be how this goes. I guess I could put that buff spell back on. I want to do a little bit more damage. Give me my souls back. Not get grabbed again. That was humiliating. I do want to stay at full health because I do a bit more damage. Oh, I recognize that. Like, 28 more damage, I guess, at full health. I guess that's worth... Oh, right. When the sword comes out, it doesn't... Do damage. Oh, I'm fucked. Yeah. I think you can stay, like, right behind her there. But, uh... Not much to be done for it. I 
I, I think if you like run around behind her as she spins, uh, it just misses. Yeah, these, um, what do they call them, like, Outrider Knight enemies are quite cool. I think the armor, like, does some messed up stuff to them. Oh, hey, Rocket Cat. Yeah, sorry my stream timing has been, uh, difficult. It's, it's been frustrating me as well, don't worry. Um, doing my best here, just to try to keep this going. Um... You know how life is, it just makes stuff harder sometimes. Just hit the boss. Just hit the boss. Actually, no, I want to run away. Oh wait, did I stagger her out of doing her big spin? I, I think I did. Okay, sure. That's pretty cool. Dancer, I've got you this time. Oh, I, I was just kidding. I was just kidding. Just panic roll. Why not? Oh my god, I have no health. Oh, oh I lived! I didn't live there, though. Yeah, I'm just playing like shit all of a sudden. I don't know what's come over me. Yeah, as literally like the the instant that I started streaming yesterday, my my voice got all scratchy and weird. And, and I felt it happen again today, but I drank a little bit of water, and, and hopefully it's a bit better. I'm just going to get stabbed by that guy every time, huh? How rude. Alright, well, hopefully I can stop choking the dancer fight. It's, it's not even that hard. I know it's not that hard. I can do it. hits to stagger this boss, I don't know. Oh, that was a weird looking move. You have just a thrusting stab? Sure. Oh, damn it. That might be that. No, I do, I do live. Okay. Shit. I don't know why I thought healing there was a good idea. I really, I could have done it the first time, too. I just choked. Well, this is a cool fight, so I don't, I don't mind spending some more time on this, but... Uh, and Lothric Castle's kind of a pain, so... I guess we'll get access to a few things after this. I, I definitely don't like the Osiris fight very much. And he, he's, um, he's available to fight after Dancer. Um, what else? Yeah, we, and we could go to Lothric Castle. It's a pretty gnarly area. Did I really just get grabbed again? It seemed like she chained that out of another move, which I have not seen before. I'll do it again. Oh wait, you can perform a crit on her? I didn't realize that. Thanks for the heads up. No, no, that's not backseating. That's that's just a tip. Um, I really do like the system that they implemented in Elden Ring where the, it plays a noise when enemies get poise broken. And there's like a little light that appears where you can do it. 
Yeah, I managed to poise break her right before the big spin. Oh, there it is. You have to be, like, right in the right spot to do it, though, huh? Or maybe a stagger isn't the same as a poise break? I don't know. You're really aggressive. Uh, yeah, these phase 2 attacks are intense. Well, I, I guess... I like that it's kind of precise. Damn. Some of the stagger windows in Elden Ring are kind of ludicrous, I gotta admit. Um, this really shouldn't be too bad. You kind of have to stand in her face when you stagger her to do that. Staggering her out of the, the giant spin is quite cool, though. And and the uh, phase transition doesn't do damage, so that's good to know. Like, she has a similar, like, dark burst move that does do damage, but specifically the phase transition does not. If I circle that guy on the right, he doesn't get a chance to stab me. That's good to know. Oh, that just went right over my head. Yeah, that grab move is the reason that I stay out of her face, though. I don't know, maybe my strategy of going around behind is not the best idea. Oh, I, I rolled instead of getting the crit. I was a big dumb idiot. Come on, dancer. That was a weird, slow-ass move. What are you, Dark Souls 2 boss? Damn. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm getting my ass kicked. Yeah, thanks for the tips, Rocky Cat. I, I appreciate it. Just keep hitting in the head. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little excited to go and fight the Nameless King. Again, it's been a while. Excuse you. I don't know why he noticed me so much sooner that time. That boss is really fun. I do really like the way that, um... The first phase of that boss are designed. As well as a uh, Medir, where you kind of just have to... Stay close to the head. I feel like I had like a really easy time my first attempt here. It's, it's just been going poorly ever since. Oh, that was that was it, huh? Maybe I'll get it once before the end here. Oh, that's the explosion. Okay. Interesting. You're gonna do the big spin. I'm just gonna run away this time. You can just outrange it. Okay, sometimes you can get through that last one in one roll. Other times you cannot. Nice. I... Glad you're winning, Pot Noodles, because I'm not. <laughs> I'm getting owned. Dancer is something else. I just gotta get the... I really just have to focus, I feel like. I've, I've just been panic rolling. Um... The bosses I fought yesterday were really not that hard, so I kind of didn't have to be, like, in the 
head in the game. Oh yeah, it, it, it was it was great. We had a really good time. Thanks for asking, Pardos. Definitely too much rolling. I I can tell. <laughs> I've played a lot of these games, so I. What? Um, hello? Okay, that was weird. I got stuck on the door. And I'm like rolling the wrong directions through moves. That's that explosion. Sure. Yeah, there was no way I was getting the crit that time, that's okay. Oh, I thought I rolled there, but I guess not in time. Oh, damn. That get, get up animation took just forever after that grab, too. Well, I lost... I literally lost count of how many times I've died to Dancer now. This is embarrassing. I feel like this is not that hard. I just gotta really focus. Glad he just misses every time if I go on the right side. I don't know what the deal with the door was the last time, where I just got stuck. Another hit the head boss, huh? <laughs> I just I rolled way too early. I knew that was the grab too, and it just kills me, huh? Yeah. Damn. Okay. Well, <laughs> that was by far the worst attempt so far. Maybe I'll, I'll try to stop doing the circle around behind strategy here and just focus on staying in front and timing my dodge as well. Oh, I really thought that was going to hit me that time. God, I'm so glad that they don't, um... They didn't keep the really awful fog gate. Um mechanics from Dark Souls 2. <sighs> wow. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. You know what? It, it wouldn't be a Dark Souls playthrough if I didn't struggle somewhere, so... Yeah, the, the Fog Gate mechanics in DS2 were just fucking horrible. I, um... I think I mentioned in, in a previous stream, yeah, they learned what not to do, definitely. Um, that guy just is so fast sometimes, and others he takes forever to notice I'm there. Um, yeah, I, I played Dark Souls 2 off stream a little bit, and I think I that my least favorite area in any of these games by far is the... Um, Jesus fucking Christ, dude. It's like... She literally just stood there and let me hit her the first try. What is going on? <laughs> oh my god! I'm actually just, like, so bad. I didn't get a single hit. I got grabbed twice! Yeah, the, the hitboxes in Dark Souls 2 and um, the fog gate mechanics and stuff, it's just... And even just the, the way the character controls just feels like shit, man. I, 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 I genuinely don't know what they were doing. Yeah, the, the run-up to the Smelter Demon. It's just horrible. True, they did learn from it. That is very true.
Oh, okay. That was... That attack is really delayed. Alright, Dancer. I think that's death, too. I think I don't have enough help. Oh, no, I do live. Okay. We get a chance at redemption here. Yeah, I don't know why. I thought there wasn't a slam after that. There's always a slam. Yeah, I feel like these attacks are super delayed. I'm just... I'm not getting the feel for it quite yet. Some of them, like, run into each other in really weird ways. Can I get the stagger? Nope. Okay, that was, like, a weird number of spins as well. I feel like I'm gonna run out of healing this time. Let's try for an ember? I just have to have the right moment for it, which is right now. I really think she has high ping. Yeah, that's funny. It does kind of feel like that. I don't know why I went for the running attack. It's just a bad idea against this boss. Oh, that dark attack does so much damage. Okay, well, I am all out of heals here. Oh, there's a follow-up. Just one more? Okay. <laughs> that was such a scuffed attempt, too. I, I did it, I guess. <laughs> I did it, I guess. <laughs> oh, I can't remember struggling against this boss uh, that much since my, my first playthrough. Um... Do I have, like, enough souls here to... Yeah, I, I guess it's worth going back to level up. One of the tips that I always have for new players um, is just, just spend your souls. Um, it is just so much better. Because, um, like, it's very easy to just, like, forget to go and spend your souls after a boss fight. Let's see, I guess I'll grab an Endurance and a Vigor. Why not? Farewell, Ashen One. Um, is she really just gone? Oh no, you're back. Okay. <laughs> a malicious but marvel on bound forever. Well, okay, you just have to leave and come back. Well, I accidentally killed her. That's why she's talking shit. I deserve it. I gotta say. Um. Actually, that looks cool. Let's, let's get that. Why not? 12,000 souls? Sure. Uh, Ashen one. Let's see, how, how does that look? I like that. Why not? We'll switch up the armor for now. Um, yeah, I know I could head into the DLC, but I kind of like to save that for the end of the game. If I just go straight to Lothric Castle now, there's just an, like, absurd amount of, um, what do you call it, uh, Titanite Scales, which I need for my, uh, weapon that I'm using. So, I think we'll just head into Lothric Castle. Um, I, I think there might be a few in the Consume King's Garden, too. I had the wiki up. Let me see. Night night scales. Are there any in the Consume King's Garden? There's three. Well, I need four. One of them is, or two of them are after Osiris too. Yeah, that. 
Oh, I, I missed... I keep missing your chat messages, because they, they pop up on screen for a little bit here on the PS5, but... Oh, oh, you're talking about uh, Shadow of the Erd Tree. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the first two bosses, the Dancing Lion and um, Rolana, are, like, totally designed for you to just get owned <laughs> right away and have to go and find more Skidoo. I, I know it's not called Skidoo. I just, it's... It's, like, ingrained into my, my brain now. The shadow tree fragments. Um, this is a cool little cutscene. But just the imagery in these games is incredible. Uh, speaking of just pretty-ass game, um, yeah, Shadow of the Earth Tree. It's beautiful. Solution is to never forget to spend stuff on upgrades. Yeah, yeah, if, if you're just running around after fighting the boss and you lose, like, 200,000 uh, runes or whatever, it's a bad time. I've been there. I've done that. Um, yeah, my my very first playthrough of Dark Souls 1, I, I was, like, super militant about, like, spending souls. And, and yeah, having the, uh, the soul pickups as well that you can crush... Um, really helps um, yeah only once huh I have definitely uh, done it more times than one let's give you a kick and another oh this guy's got a lot of health the red eye enemies are always a little tougher Yeah, if you have got, like, almost enough souls to level up, it's always nice to, um, utilize those soul pickup items. I'm pretty sure this we don't get until later. I remember s farming some of these enemies, too, for sunlight metals when I was trying to get the, um, the platinum. Yeah, I lost, like, a ludicrous number of, of souls, um... Oh shit. Two of them is bad. Oh, and I'm walking into a wall. Come on. I was gonna say, the guy with the smaller shield should chase me faster. So that's an opportunity to get some backstabs on him. Oh shit. Those, like, shield slam attacks always seem to get me. Damn. I guess I could take off the stupid jailer pants as well. Um, yeah, I think I, I lost like four or five levels worth of, of souls uh, in one go, and I was just like, shit, I'm not doing that again. Um, I know I could just run past all these guys, but for me it's not as fun as actually engaging. Oh god, yeah, that shield slam always gets me. Damn, dude, you do a lot of damage. Are you aware? Hey! <laughs> I'm just gonna keep running back and healing and then going in and getting hit. That seems to be the safest time after that, like, four combo. He just doesn't care about getting kicked. Oh my god. You know, I, I said I won't run past, but it's only going to take dying to the same guy a few times before I don't give him the time of day. Oh, and I said I was going to take off the jailer pants. Let's see, maybe there's something a little... Dark leggings, sure. Do I, I fat roll? I do. Aw, oh, sad. Okay. Um, actually, that's kind of funny. Oh, it looks really bad with my chest plate, though. Um, there we go. Sure, I'll take that. I was never too good at the actual, like, building of a cool outfit. 
in these games the fashion souls of it all. It's fun, but um Yeah, a lot of people just don't give a shit about the stats. I like to just wear silly stuff. I'm never taking off the big hat. Unless I find a, a more ridiculous hat. Alright, yeah, I was trying to just hit him as he was standing up, too, which is just dumb. Charging the heavy is better. Okay. Hopefully I can just aggro one of these guys at a time here. Instead of both of them. You, come on. Come this way. Backstab? No. Stupid ass shield slam. Okay, hopefully if I back up far enough, the other guy won't come and get us. It's the quick shield slam. Oh, damn. He does just walk out here, I guess. I am just fucked. You know what? <laughs> I've fought you guys enough times. You just stay back there. Oh, there's another, like, healer guy as well. Let's just get the bonfire. There's a bonfire right here. Oh, not just a healer, but they buff them, too. Yeah, fuck that. I'm running away. Oh, that's probably a mimic. <laughs> if I know my game. Oh, I just try to jump. Like I'm playing Elden Ring, jump over the railing. Are those guys pissed off? Oh, it's not a mimic. Yeah, so when the chain is facing uh, back like that, it's never a mimic. Mm. I always thought that this should be a, uh, an illusory wall, just like in Dark Souls 1 in Arolando. Where you can go and get, like, Smo's stuff. Or not Smo, Havel. It's, it's a funny mistake to make. Smo and Havel. I'm just fat shaving them now. Oh, yep, I was gonna say, is the big, like, double axe wing knight in here? Oh, good. I love trying to lock on and then instead just getting completely turned around. These enemies are tough. Okay, I still got the attack off, even if you hit me. Alright, guy. That's enough. <laughs> Is enough of that. Give me your stupid little axes. Yeah, I, I remember having... Significant amount of trouble with the um, the dragons in the upcoming area. Oh, nice. I feel like I always remember. Oh, did he manage to? There's a guy who throws Lloyd's talismans at you, um, so that you can't heal. Oh no. This is one of the, like, much harder enemies. Okay. I remember you from the high wall. Well, that worked out. Nice. Okay. I've already got 20,000 souls, huh?
I am a little low on healing for this attempt. I might use an ember here in a little bit. Oh shit, it's the big axe guy. You know, this seems like a good opportunity. You've got very delayed attacks, my axe-wielding friend. You know, I people complain a lot about the delayed attacks. If it was just for delayed attacks, it wouldn't be so bad. But it's the combination of the delayed attack and also the one that comes out really fast. That, like, ideally happens less frequently as well. This feels like a, some kind of illusory wall situation. There we go. Yeah, so that you get, like, um, it, like, gets in your head. I, I was talking about this when I was playing a little bit of Sekiro uh, on stream as well. Where, like, Genichiro will do this, um, this, like, uh, like, overhead slam, and then he always follows it up with either a stab or a sweep, and it's usually a stab, but sometimes it's a sweep. Um, and, and if you try to jump like you should when it's a sweep, he will always stab you. So it's, it's best to just always kind of dodge in. Is that another bonfire already? I really didn't think... Yeah. <laughs> I, I did get mind games a lot in that fight. It happens um, from time to time. Uh, yeah, but Genny is real good at getting in my head, I will say. So I think that item we can't get for now. I think we have to progress a bit more through the level before we can. I will take a rest, then. Um, hey, I'm, you know what? I'm glad it's entertaining. That's, that's the whole reason I do this, is because... Like, I, I feel like getting tilted in these games can be very entertaining to watch, as well. Um, it, it can kind of go both ways. It can either be, like, entertaining or just frustrating. It all kind of depends on, like, the mood of, of the streamer. Like, if you're just kind of angry and not having a good time. But it, if you get mind-gamed and are able to laugh at your own failure, that's when it's more entertaining. I really wanted the backstab, but I was still running. Oh, I low-profiled that. That was actually sick. Yeah, when, when you charge up the R2, it does actually, like, make your hitbox a little bit lower. Um, which can be useful from time to time. So this is... Yeah, this is dragons. Um... I seem to remember there being, like, an Estus Flask shard down here, though. It's also, like, one of those Puss of Man enemies. I think it's you. Nice. Okay, that makes it a lot easier if you just kill them before they get a chance to... Uh, ...really do the thing. Nice. I think you get less souls for it, though. Uh, which is fine. I don't really care. If I remember correctly, like, the... the puzzle solution with the dragons is also, like, the puss of man thing comes out of them. You have to, like, throw some stuff at them. Oh, please tell me I get this bug. I guess it doesn't really matter, as I'm not using twinkling titanite items, but... I'll take it nonetheless. I think this is access to that item that I saw back before. It sure is. Where did all these guys even come from? Alright, well, if his friend isn't going to see me, I'm not going to bother. And, and I think this even allows us to get revenge on the guy who throws the Lloyd Talismans. Oh, they followed me, huh? Oh, 
these wing knights, man. Yeah, I can see him still throwing Lloyd Talismans. Could you cut that out? <laughs> can I clank any more? Please. Okay. I want to say that's the end of this path. Um... I think if I drop down there again where the dragons are... I mean, I guess I can rest up again. Uh, I don't remember getting an Estix... <laughs> Estix? I don't remember getting an Estus Shard. Um, I'm not sure if that shows up in key items or in upgrade materials in this game. Either would make sense, I guess. Oh, it's probably that, isn't it? You gotta go across the bridge. Well, that's fine. Go this way instead, for now. Oh, it's the two elite enemies together. That's real fun. I have, like, very faint recollection of this area, but... Oh, and I did get loitered that time. Probably don't remember it nearly as well as I should. I shouldn't have dropped back down here, that was just dumb. Yep. Oh, <laughs> shit. Just waiting for the Lloyd to wear off. Please tell me you can't hit me from there. <laughs> oh, we're just gonna cycle through again. Okay, I can heal. All is not lost. I have a whole bunch of souls already, too. I'll just run past all these guys. I don't need to be killing them again. Although they might chase me. Who cares? Um, listen, dragon. Oh, it's an undead bone shard, not an Estus Flask shard. My mistake. Alright, bud. Uh, this is a, a bit of a spot to be in. You know what? I kind of feel like just using the bone shard. Um, let's, um, let's just go back to the shrine. <laughs> I, I don't feel like dealing with any of those enemies around anyway, so... That's one way of handling it. I, and I know you can just run right across the bridge. Yeah, I mean, I I kind of would rather have a Bone Shard at this point. Twelve Estus is, or, I mean, really all you need, except for, for some of the really nasty boss fights. Um, where's the Shrine Maiden? Welcome, her speak. Very well, then take uh, let's just get some more health for now. Hello, Seems I good. Should... I have 40 faith. I can't imagine the soft cap is much past that. Yeah, you can run across the bridge and then try to get through that way, but um, the dragon fire is quite mean. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you got that right. Let's see. I mean, I can try it. Uh. This, is, this was a bad idea. This was an exceptionally bad idea. Alright, well let's... I guess I'll run around and rest again. I'm doing really good. <laughs> I'm doing really, really good. I don't know why I have not equipped the Homeward Bones um, on my hotbar, like, this entire run. I keep just going, oh yeah, after I, um... After I beat Champion Gundyr, I'll just have the Coiled Sword Fragment. <laughs> Um, but I have to do Osiris first. I'm not super keen on that yet. I would like to get the weapon upgrade first, just to do a bit more damage. I think it'll be, like, a lot more damage, actually, because I've got a slab, so I can fully upgrade this. Yeah, let's, ju let's just run past all these guys again. I want to say there's some stuff back there to go and get, but 
optional. I won't be too worried about it. Oh, this is an Outrider Knight, too. Oh, shit. I really lured a whole crowd of guys, didn't I? If only the Outrider Knight could hit the other enemies. Can I make it across? Oh, I don't... I don't think so, Chief. Maybe? Okay, well... Not too bad, in the end. Okay. Oh, I'm really surprised I didn't get caught up in that explosion. Oh. Hell yeah, man. I have no clue how that hit that guy, but I will take it. Weird, like, back hitbox. I hit him with, like, the the handle of my sword. There's a, there's a word for that. Um, the pommel? Is that right? I don't know. There's this guy, um, who uploads really, uh, well-researched stuff about, um... A ladder kick moment? Pommel does a lot. Oh well, look at that. Uh... Yeah, this guy, Robin Swords, um, uploads some really cool stuff about... Um... I guess I can just toss the firebombs. They do decent damage. I think I have some black fire bombs, right? Oh, that can hit me. Okay, let's not get cursed. Oh, that's a fire bomb again. Oopsie. Uh, anyway, yeah, guy on on YouTube uploads some nice YouTube shorts and stuff. Um, called Robin Swords. Um, about just like real worlds, um, like fencing and stuff, and also. Uh, like how it relates to um, stuff in Dark Souls. I really feel like this is going to be the best use for these fire bombs, so I'll just use them all. These enemies are quite annoying to fight with melee weapons. There we go. So that should be the one dragon down. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure if the other dragon can get me from here. I don't think so. Uh, the way to get to it is, like, all the way around back by the Dragon Slayer armor, so... I don't remember where this path goes. I guess now that I've, I've used these up, I can unequip them. And I, I really may as well do this as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I don't remember this path fully, but we are looking for, um... Oh, that just drops down to that other area we were in before. We're looking for some more, um... Titanite scales. There we go! Very nice. Yeah, let's... Let's just try to run around and get rid of the other dragon, and then I can go and pick up the rest of those items. I want to say I have, like, five Titanite scales now. Yeah, I need three more. And we can fully upgrade... Wolnir's sword. That will be very exciting. And I'm, I'm on the lookout for other, like, good faith scaling melee weapons. I'm not sure... I think you get access to some, like, in the Ringed City, and that's kind of... kind of far away from here. Like, it'll take me a while before I get there, so I definitely do want to fully upgrade this. I'll get access to more slabs by that time. I didn't say it out loud, but that is for sure a mimic. Um, I guess let's, uh... Use the weapon art. Why not? It seemed to do good work against the la- Oh no, it's the Dark Souls 2 mimic. I hate these guys. They just- It's just creepy, man.
At least they're not too, too bad. But it is creepy. Oh, shit. Well, that's... That's that. That's the sword upgrade right there. What the fuck was that visual glitch? Just like a huge piece of geometry just like clipped through that wall. I have no idea what that was. Um... But let's open this gate. Um... And I think I will just run past all this stuff, because I want to get to the, like, either shortcut or bonfire, whichever it is. I can't quite remember. I want to say shortcut, because I don't think it's a bonfire. Yeah, it's this elevator. Um, does this go right back to the dancer bonfire? I think it does. Oh, sorry, Rocky Cat. I didn't see your last message. Uh, Skalagrim? I don't know. Uh, that is that like somebody's uh, username? Yeah, this is that. Right by the dancer's bonfire. Very nice. We'll head back to Firelink and we'll we'll get our w weapon leveled up and we'll see how much more damage we do now. Weirdly off-center bonfire. Sure. <laughs> I'm kind of glad that the Shrine Maiden just comes back. I I was really a little bit worried <laughs> that she was just going to be dead for good. Um, that that would have been... I mean, it would have been funny for the stream. I guess. I, I, can't, I can't discount that. That is good, wasn't it? All right, let's... Yeah. Wolnir's sword plus four... Well, near sword plus five. Oh yeah, no, I, I the channel I was talking about is called Robin Swords. I have not heard of Scala Grim. Uh, I guess I have more chunks now. I could try to upgrade the uh, talisman as well. I always forget it's in another tab. Oh, and that's. That's already, like, okay. plus nine as well. So that should be, like, basically as good as that can get. I don't think I want to use a slab on the talisman, to be perfectly honest. Well, I think we'll take another endurance? Oh, I, I am 300 souls shy. That's funny. Um, I don't think the fading soul is going to be enough. I think that's only, like, 200. Oh, it's 50. What? I'm thinking of uh, Elden Ring, where the smallest soul is 200. That's still not enough. Let's do another fading soul. And then, um... Now I have just barely enough souls, sure. I kind of like these goofy-ass shoes that I've got on with a little point. Ah... I feel like I've got enough health for now. I'm, I'm would like more endurance so I can swing more times. Yeah, I think I can do four R ones now if I've got all of my um. Oh well, I just teleported to where I was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was I was just too distracted. Uh, don't don't mind that. <laughs> Whoopsie. Um, yes, thank you. Um, I'm really proud of that. At, at least the PS5 has, has the real good um, loading times, so I don't have to worry. I don't know what they did with the Demon Souls remaster to make that game just have like ludicrously short loading times. Yeah, look at our funny little toes, dude. But th that game just, the loading times are literally like two or three seconds. Oh, I did not mean to do that. That's fine. Like, by the time you set the controller down, uh, you, you've already loaded back in. And that game is also much prettier. Even than Elden Ring, uh, which is, like, a heretical opinion. But I think it's true. Um, Demon's Souls Remake is, I think, the prettiest game I have ever played. It just, it looks so good. I, don't, I genuinely don't know how they did it. 
And some people gripe about like the uh like how um what do you call it? In terms of what you see and what you don't, that makes sense from like a programming perspective. Um I don't think that's a survivable fall, to be honest. I know I, I could stock up on more, um... More firebombs and just do it that way. Get rid of that dragon. I'm pretty sure there's, like, a way around. Um, yeah, the, the optimization work that they did on that is truly incredible. I, I wish they could have had whoever worked on that at Bluepoint uh, go and help them with Shadow of the Earth Tree because, um, fucking... Promise Concert Radon is the laggiest boss I have fought in any game. And I wasn't even playing it on PC. Oh yeah, we do so much more damage now, that's awesome. We were doing like 237 or something to Dancer, what is it now? Four, yeah, it's like a hundred more. Um... They did patch it a bit. Yeah, it was it was real gnarly. Um, at the beginning, I'm kind of shocked that isn't an illusory wall. I was really getting the vibes that it would be. Uh, obviously, none of these are gonna be. Yeah, it, it was pretty egregious. Um, at first, I don't even think that I got there that fast. To be honest, like it it took me two weeks or so to even get to that point, um, in the game. I seem to remember this enemy being a huge bitch. He's got a big fucking sword. You do less damage than your friends did at the start of the area, though. Oh yeah, sure, do that. Good use of your time. Yeah, I, I imagine um, they were a bit rushed for Shadow of the Earth Tree as well. Oh, nice. I got Praise the Sun. Um, I guess I could put on the Sunbro Covenant icon just to have it on. Wait, I thought this looped back around to where the... um. Like, I thought that brought us to where the... The Puss of Man thing was. How do you? How are you actually legit supposed to get there? Maybe this is just a survivable fall. Yeah, like some. Um, oh my god. Some AAA games are just really awful with it. Um, and like FromSoft games are generally like some of the best uh, optimized games on release, but they, they're they still not without fail. Um, yeah, Elden Ring itself had some, like, real gnarly, um, yeah, these enemies suck to fight melee. Maybe I can try this. That does pretty good damage. Oh, I don't want to get cursed, though. I guess I could put on the Curse Bite Ring. I don't think uh, that's doing too much for me right now. Oh, and I can't do any more. Well, that's... that's fine. Good enough for now. I might just go and do the running attacks and then fuck off again. Maybe one more. There we go. Dragon done. Yeah, Elden Ring had some, like, really bad, uh, like, the PC version had some quite unfortunate, um, performance issues on, on launch. I, I was playing it on PlayStation, but some people were very upset, I do remember. Um. Nice. Well, I can come through and get the rest of these items now. And then I could, I could go and fight the Dragon Slayer armor, because we are right there. Um, I guess, or we could just take a detour and go and do Osiris and Champion Gundir. Which I, I, I really like Champion Gundir. 
That is a good ass boss. Might be my favorite boss in this entire game, actually. Um, is there an easy way to just get back? I, I might just run to the bonfire and travel. <laughs> um, yeah, but some AAA games are just fucking horrible on release. Um, and it's it's totally just because of like the execs um, at these companies uh, doing too much crunch. And, um, just like, I don't know, it's, it's, it's just the bad culture in, in the gaming industry for devs. Um, I don't even know which of these rings I want to use. I guess I can put the Miracle Booster back on. For now. Wrath of the Gods does seem pretty strong. Um... I don't think I sent the elevator back down, though. Nintendo does just hate their players. And it also, the devs of the Pokemon games just are like, well, our players will buy the game no matter what, so we'll just make it as shitty as we can uh, like get away with. Um, which is fine for me, because I, I was never a big like Pokemon fan, at least not of like the video games. I, I liked the cards when I was a little kid, but I always thought the games were a bit bit trash, to be honest, which is a very controversial take. Pokemon fans would fucking hate me for that. Um, but I stand by it. Yeah, there's a few, um, few game companies in general that just seem to think that their players are just fucking idiots. Um, and I mean, don't get me wrong, they're probably right. You know what, I, I don't really feel like fighting you. I, I was gonna give it a, a try, but I'm glad the elevator goes quick. Yeah, Ubisoft is really silly. I actually had a personal friend who worked for Ubisoft for a long time, got laid off. Um, uh, just like, kind of for no reason, too. Um, like, just cost-cutting measures and stuff. It's it's a lot of the same stuff that, um, plagues, like, Hollywood and, like, the movie-making industry as well. It's just really lame. Uh, well, I guess we'll fight the dragon armor. I don't know if I'm gonna go into the archives, though, after this. I think this is a lot of people's, like, favorite boss, uh, in this game. It's alright. I think the butterfly is a little stupid, to be honest. Yeah, you could say that, but also just like, the, with the profits that those game companies make, it's like, they can definitely just afford to keep the people on. Like, even if they say they hire too many, like, just find work for them within the company. Like, you, if you can afford to pay out, like, insane dividends to your shareholders and give the CEO, like, infinite money, <laughs> essentially. Like, you can afford to just keep your fucking graphic designers on. And I know the, the like, meme about Ubisoft is, like, the 25-minute credits, because everybody in their, like, grandma gets in the credits. But, um... Yeah, exactly. It's, it's just corporate greed. Yeah, the... The, like, Hollywood and, like, streaming industry was, like, particularly upsetting with that stuff, too, because they were just, like, removing, like, fan-favorite shows, canceling shows and removing fan-favorite shows from their platforms simply, um, like, for short-term games to avoid paying, like, residuals to actors and stuff. And, I mean, literally, fuck that. Like, that is the dumbest shit I can imagine. Well, you know, if you had to ask me which was harder, Dancer or Dragon Slayer armor, I probably would have said Dragon Slayer armor. Uh, but I kind of just casually first tried that. As, as this is just the power of talking about something else. 
and started shitty new shows. Yeah. I mean, I, I honestly, I feel like those shows that were, like, quote-unquote, to, it, like, promote inclusivity literally were, like, psyops to make you hate that kind of thing. Because, like, who wanted She-Hulk? Like, I feel like that was literally designed to make more misogyny. Like, misogyny is bad, but also that show fucking sucks, dude. Like, what were they doing? Um. Anyway, that's straying a little too far into the, the like, politics realm, uh, for, for my taste, for, for the dumb gamer Twitch stream. But, yeah, I, I, I am glad to see, like, unionization efforts and stuff going on at, at Blizzard. That's good to see. Um, and, I, like, I'm hoping that that'll have more of an impact on, on the gaming industry as a whole. Um... I actually get a lot out of these strength levels now, huh? Maybe it's worth putting a few more levels into strength now. Yeah. 451. That's like a really decent damage boost now. All right, just because I've, I've been neglecting strength, I know that this um this weapon does also scale with strength. So let me actually look at what the scalings are, because I don't think I paid attention to it after. It's C and C. Okay. Yeah, it's, like, I, I get what you're talking about, man. It's, like, I I was a really big Star Wars fan for the longest time. And, um, like, The Force Awakens came out, and I was like, yeah, it wasn't great, but, you know, I, I liked it. And then it just, it became very clear as the next two movies uh, in the sequel trilogy came out that they had no fucking plan at all. Um, and they were just kind of, like, doing whatever. And, like, eventually, they just ran out of runway. Um, for having no plan, and and it just got worse and worse. Yeah, I don't think we want to go to the Grand Archives just yet. I think I want to go fight um, Osiris. So that's back to Dancer. Um, it's like what 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 were they cooking, man? Also, it it is really funny to me that George Lucas like designed the Galactic Empire in Star Wars off the you know the American Empire in real life, and so many of the people that. I knew who, like, loved that stuff, um, as a kid, like, were super, like, America Patriot guys that are like, hell yeah, the Rebellion, and I'm like, don't, don't you understand <laughs> that these are, like, mutually exclusive ideas? <laughs> America's very anti-Rebellion in general. Anyway, I, I, now I truly am, like, shut the fuck up about politics. <laughs> um... It, yeah, and I, I agree that the, the, like, storytelling has degraded as well. It's like, um... I, I almost wonder if it, some of it is just, like... Those companies just don't want to fucking hire actors. Or, or writers, rather. not Like, they don't want to pay, like, writers that are in the writing guild and stuff. And so instead they just, like, hire s some dipshit in college who, like, genuinely can't fucking write to save their life. And it's, it's frustrating if you're a fan of, of that stuff. Yeah, yeah, the story degrading. For sure. And I, I mean, I think it's, it's like, it's all related, right? I think it's a symptom of the same thing. I think there are more items that are worth picking up around here. Oh, I am stuck between that tree and this pussy man. That is a bad place. This is a bad time. Well, I guess I haven't had a dumbass death in a while. I would be really surprised if I lived through this. I, I can't see what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I... I don't know, like, there, are, there is a place on TV for shit with lazy writing. Like, that's what reality TV and, like, soap operas are for. Like, the whole point of us watching a soap opera is that, like, it's dumb and the storytelling is bad, but it's funny. For most people, I think. Um, and I just, I don't, 
I don't know why they need to, like, just make, like, you know, fantasy content that has the writing of a soap opera. Like, it, I don't, I don't think there's the, the like, fan base for that, either. I don't, I'm not saying everything has to be, like, super highbrow, because it doesn't, but, I don't know. I should just... <laughs> Talk about the game. Yeah, so we're going to go fight Osiris. Um, <laughs> which will give us access to Archdragon Peak and Champion Gundyr. Um, and all of that stuff is very cool. Um, oh, you know what weapon I might actually use after... Um, we might just hightail it to the Nameless King. Because um, I, I kind of want to use his weapon. I feel like that'll be really fun. Um... I think that's a holy based weapon, the like Nameless King's sword spear. Oh, these enemies are just like almost not worth fighting. I, I just can't see what's happening. Oh my god, is this an ulcerated tree spirit? Hang on a second. Holy shit. It kind of just is, isn't it? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> no wonder they wanted to put ulcerated tree spirits everywhere in Elden Ring. It's just the pus of man. I can, like, kind of tell better what's what the fucking ulcerated tree spirit is doing, though, at least. Alright, I, I should just run past these and go and get the shortcut. Because this is... It's not even, like, worth ki like, killing these enemies. Now that I got the elevator back up, I can just ignore this guy, too. Now, I, I wish I could say that there were, like, movies and TV that I'm excited for coming out soon. But... Eh, not really. Um. Oh, those items are probably trash, if I had to guess. I may as well just pick these up, though. Oh, that's toxic, too? I don't think I have the cure for that. I'll just get the items, then. Oh, you're... you're a guy? I thought you were, like, a, an... item corpse that I had already picked up. Yeah. Where... where is the path to the other shortcut? Because... I think it's... Shit, where is it, though? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's this. Yeah. This looks right. Um, well, yeah, I kind of might have to take a break here for a little bit. Um, just to use the bathroom. But I guess I should, um, open this shortcut first. There's more of these gremlin guys. At least I do enough damage to one-shot them. They can be quite annoying if you can't. Very nice. Shortcut acquired. You know what, I'm just gonna... Well, let's see what happens first. Will I die to... <laughs> will I die to Toxic, or can I use the bathroom? <laughs> and come back. Let's see.
Oh, I was cutting it a little close. <laughs> I made it, though. Just barely. Alright, let's 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 just rest up, and then we can actually go fight Osiris. I remember this boss being, like, kind of a huge fucking pain. Just because you can't see what he's doing. Uh, keep to Osiris's left. Roll in and attack whenever he drops his guard. He's weak to lightning damage and frostbite. Huh. Okay. I'm just running into a wall because <laughs> I was reading your message. Very good. Um, okay, well... Yeah, uh... That is helpful. I, I have a lightning spell, but I don't have it equipped. So I guess... I, I have two lightning spells, actually. I, I could go and equip them. Um, I guess they're not spells, actually. Um, they're miracles, technically. Oh, what the fuck was that grab? What am I playing Dark Souls 2? That was... Ooh, that was something. Might want to equip them. Is it, is is he that weak to lightning that it's like worth it? Well, uh, well, I'll give it one try, and then the next time I die, I'll be back at a bonfire. Um, or I guess I could just do another run through picking up items, but I don't think there's that much here that's like super useful. Uh, I feel like there's another drop off like halfway down the elevator shaft this time. Sure is. I'll see. Okay. Dragon Scale Ring. Reduces damage from backstabs. Okay, sure. Sure, bud. Why not? Um... That's... something. I, I feel like it, you don't get backstabbed often enough for it to be worth it to just equip a ring. Yeah, but... This guy's gonna be fun. Baby smashing champion of the year. Osiris. Keep to his left side. Enemies have more use for that ring. I feel like it's probably like a PvP thing too. Like backstabs are annoying. This is a good ass, um. Of the power of my beloved Ocelot, good ass voice actor. Well, I will not give him up. For he is all that I have. I love that you can see the animation when he smashes the baby. What the fuck, dude? I got hit by the enemy on the other side of the fog gate. That was a very bad roll. Yeah, I also remember in phase two, this guy just goes like ape shit. So. Dear little Ocelot, where have you gone? Are you hiding from me? I'm just gonna keep jumping, bud. Oh, that tail sweat. Now, now, show yourself, Ocelot. My dear little Ocelot. A good voice actor for an annoying enemy, I gotta say. Oh, baby smashing time. <laughs> Alright, it's ape shit time. Yeah, 60% health. That seems right.
gems. Okay, well, I thought I rolled that attack, but that's okay. I guess we can equip the, um, the lightning stuff, huh? Uh, I'm not sure which one would be better, like the projectile or the ground slam. I guess I can just put them both on, though. I should have two attunement slots. Um... Oh, and I have Lightning Blade as well. That's pretty cool. I have no idea when I got that, but I, I, I'm, I would bet that it's not usable with them. Um... You know what? Maybe I'll put the Talisman on the other hand so that I can um, have the sword and the Talisman out at the same time. Yeah, I don't think I can imbue this weapon, though. I didn't send the elevator back up. That was dumb. <laughs> okay. A little surprised that I missed that guy. You gonna grab me again? You know what? I won't give you a chance. Yeah, these are really weird levers. I think they they use these lever designs in Dark Souls 2 as well. I don't know. I, I might miss having the Grass Crest shield on, to be honest. I might just amber up now. He really did. He really did want to grab me. It's very rude. Okay, and then we'll send this back up. Have to go this way because I think it's a little bit faster. Oh yeah, it's actually considerably better to go there. Okay, that's stuck. Please don't hit me as I walk in the fog gate again. That sucked ass last time. Oh, range. It's all right. Let's try this one. Oh. Actually, have to wait for an opportunity, I guess. It's okay. Honestly, not too much better than just my sword. Um, if I had a weapon I could imbue with lightning, I would do that. I feel like that was a little bit unnecessary of a heal. That was a weird attack. I don't really understand exactly how it works. I think just being in the, the mist hurts. I feel like the baby smashing animation can hit you as well. It's something I want to be aware of. Oh god. Oh look, my souls. That's very delayed. Okay. Repost opportunity? I didn't get it. I think you just want to stay close to him. Alright, I'm getting close. <laughs> there we go. What was that, like, second try? I feel like Embering was, 
was definitely good there. You get so much health. And I think I do want to just go back to Firelink, but you know, I, I'm i pretty sure there's another bonfire like right ahead here through this area. Yeah, first try the Dragon Slayer armor and second try on Osiris, that's not too bad. Oh, are you alive? No. It's, these are like dead versions of the Arch Dragon Peak enemies. Just one living one, huh? Yeah, Nameless King is going to be interesting. We'll see how I do uh, against that. Not a mimic. Nice. Oh, and that's the Titanite scale. Sure. Uh, is it just... Yeah. It sure is just an illusory wall. Yeah, there, there was just a bonfire there. Okay. Oh, I should have healed before that, I guess. We'll go grab a level or two and then come right back. So I, um, oh, weird that that shows up in the same thing as Firelink Shrine. Yeah, Untended Graves. I'm not sure exactly how all of that works. Where, um... There's a fake Firelink and a real Firelink. It's an idea that they, um, they use in Bloodborne as well. They were like, you know what? I like that idea so much, we're doing it again. <laughs> Damn, I get, like, a lot for these strength levels now. Just keep leveling strength. The king is weak to fire. Okay, I... I, I think I knew that the dragon was weak to lightning. Uh, I do also know the dragon is just weak to hit in the head. <laughs> the, the dragon is weak to head trauma. Um, which is also true for our good friend Medir. And I think that you can dodge most of the attacks and stay close to its head. The trick is stay locked off, right? That's that's like the big, the big thing for that. These bird fucks. These enemies are annoying. What are they from, like the crucifixion woods or whatever? Is that right? The path of something? Yeah, if you're if you're good at the game, uh, forgetting to lock on is certainly. Uh, you know what? I don't think I turned in my last Estes Flash shard that I picked up in in the Consume King's Garden. Um, locking on is definitely like a little bit of a noob trap. I just find myself missing my attacks if I'm not locked on. Um, this is the main reason that I end up doing it so much. Fucking dogs, man. Um, is there another, like, Titanite Lizard in this area, like there was in the first zone? I do not remember. Just keep forgetting it's a feature. That is the chadliest thing I've heard. Yeah, it's like a big trap. For sure. Where is the Estus ring? The one that like gives you more heals in this game. Oh, there's two. Well, maybe maybe I can just get the one to aggro me and not the other. I think I used up all my stamina there. That was unwise. Cause I got I got the Ash in the Estus ring. I actually got a repost opportunity off on an enemy. Nice. That never happens.
Again? No. Nope. Not sure why it didn't work that time. Yeah, those guys are just not that tough. I don't know if that's a controversial take, but... <laughs> I, I have a friend um, I met in college, and, and he said he tried to play Dark Souls 3, but there was this... The first enemy that he encountered, the first boss, he said the first boss I encountered was this big crystal thing, and it just, it killed me over and over, and I said, you know what, I don't think I want to play this game, and he gave up on Dark Souls 3, and I was like, dude, that is an optional enemy, not a boss. <laughs> also, I can see, like, if you've never played any of these games, having that be, like, your first encounter could be a little bit annoying. Oh, it's you. Just keep trying for the backstab. You want to back up off a cliff? All right. Nice work. Um, I thought there was a bonfire here, just like in um. The starting area? It does not seem like it, though. Oh, it... Item is just not... on the coffin at all this time. take the summon in with me, but... Is there really no bonfire? I'm a little surprised. I really don't need to be fighting these enemies at all. Just wasting my Estus for the Gundyr fight. And there's just no item back here this time. I mean, I could try to do Gundyr with, um, eight Estes. It's, I guess it's also possible that the bonfire shows up after the invader. No, I don't think so. Okay. Well, yeah, I guess I'll I'll try it uh, with fewer Estus, but I, I have no guarantees. This is a hard fight. This is probably my favorite boss in this game. We'll, we'll see if I maintain that opinion after dying to him a few times. Kicks just feel so good. Oh, you know, I was wondering why the um, the horned warriors in Shadow of the Erd Tree feel so difficult. I think part of the reason is they just fucking gave them some of Champion Gundyr's moves. Like he, they have the shoulder slam. That very same shoulder slam. Oh, that was a really early roll. Oh, the kick. You know, this boss would be really fun in Sekiro. Like, trying to perfect parry all of his moves. Or deflect, not parry. He can't actually be parried in this game. Oh, no, the charge. I was not ready. Damn. Oh, that's certainly death. <laughs> 
Thank you, Gundir. Appreciate it. it. It is also just cool as hell to fight an enemy um, you fought earlier in the game, like in his prime. It's kind of like the Promise Consort Radon thing as well. I guess now is a good time to talk about that as any. Um, I guess a lot of people were like kind of upset that Radon was the final boss of um, Shadow of the Earth Tree, other than just being like um, mad that he was so hard. Because, <laughs> I mean, I will admit, that boss is hard. <laughs> um, there's ways you can cheese him, of course, but it is um, probably the toughest FromSoft fight that I've done. Maybe excluding, like, Sword Saint Ishin. Um, I definitely think Sword Saint is more fun. Yeah, but I guess I, people were hoping for... I was a little pissed off that I got, um, spoiled. <laughs> that it was gonna be Radon. Uh, by, like, a YouTube short. <laughs> um. Yeah, I, I saw, like... I was just scrolling through my YouTube homepage, and I saw just the thumbnail that said, like, Top 10 Best Shadow of the Earth Tree Weapons, and it showed, like, his boss weapon. Uh, that is, like, you know, with the, the crazy, holy, um, like, projectile moves. Oh, can I get it? What? Give me the repost game! Damn. That was sad. Let's take a safety heal. That was a bad idea. Huh. <laughs> Am I going to die for it? Yeah, avoiding social media to not get spoiled is a good, generally a good idea. Like, I, I was mostly just using it to keep up with, like, world politics, too, at the time. So it was, <laughs> yeah, definitely worth it for that heal, huh? <laughs> um, or, or, you mean worth it, um, to not get spoiled. Yeah, I, I think it was a very appropriate, um, final boss. Okay, come on. Let's, let's not be having that. Are you gonna keep chasing? Yeah, you are. Use it. Yeah, worth it to not get spoiled. Um, social media is just awful in general, so I, I can't blame you. But but to get spoiled by like some dumbass YouTube short, I was pretty annoyed with myself that 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 was how it happened. And, like, friends and stuff who also, like, got spoiled on it had similar experiences where it was, like, something really stupid. I have no idea how that didn't hit me. Oh. I'd still be a dancer. I wasn't doing well, I will tell you. But no, I, I did eventually make it past. Okay, healed twice. Oh, I didn't get the second one off for some reason. Yeah, I, I had a very scuffed attempt where I got grabbed like twice, and I still managed to do it somehow. Okay, focus time. I always seem to roll really early for that one specific move. I, I stay not getting punished. I was trying to backpedal, but I got stuck on the map geometry. Come on, game. Bad heal. Yeah. Let's not get comboed again. Well, I do appreciate the tip. I don't know if it helps too much. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Champion Gundyr down. 
What a good fucking fight, dude. Just feels good. Oh, with the Black Knight Glaive. I... My heart wants to use that. Um, cause that, that was actually the, the Black Knight, um, what do you call it? Black Knight Halberd? It was like the first item that I used in any of these games. Yeah, looks just like that too. Um, in, in Dark Souls 1. Ah, I think there are a bunch of Black Knights through here. And I have a hundred thousand souls. You know... <laughs> I, I did play better after you said the stuff. You know, the tip that helped was, funnily enough, it was when you said it's it was like uh, Dancer has bad ping. That gave me, like, the, the boost I needed to successfully dodge. I don't know. Let's see, I've been going for nearly two hours. That's around where I like to keep it for these streams. I'm probably just going to go grab those items um, from uh, the fake fire link. Um, and then that might be that. We got Dragon Slayer armor and Dancer and Champion Gundyr down. <laughs> I guess I could maybe try to give it a run through the... Um, what do you call it? The, the beginning of Arch Dragon Peak, but that usually takes me kind of an absurdly long time, just like dying to dumb shit before you get the plunge on the dragon. I, I might go for just a couple more minutes. Um, yeah, soon. Not not right right away, but soon. Oh, this is just nothing, huh? Very nice. I can hear the Black Knights walking around. Well, yeah, don't don't feel like you gotta stick around if you're feeling tired. F feel free to head to bed. I just I appreciate you stopping in and saying hi. You know, I want to use the Black Knight Great Axe sometime. Might do a Dark Souls one playthrough. Oh God. Try to use that. It's a cool ass weapon. Okay. Two black knights at once is uh, one too many for my taste. Just parry him! They really are sticking together, too. Guys, come on. Give me like a fair stab at it. Okay, good. Oh! Didn't lock on. There we go. Gaming. Dick stab. It feels a little cheesy using the map geometry like that. Um, but also a little cheesy is getting jumped by two black knights in one go. Thank you. Yeah, I am. Um, the black knight parries always feel... Like, I don't know, I, I just, I, I like, farmed for, like, the Black Knight Halberd in, in Dark Souls 1, and I also farmed for, like, the Covenant items uh, from this game off the Silver Knights, and so, like, they just, they feel very natural to me now. Nice, I got the greatsword. Uh, did I m just skip through an item super fast? Very possible. Um, especially if I'm like reading chat, I, I have been known to do that. I'm sure it was something good. Um, the thing that I really care about from here is, um, of course, the... Uh, what do you call it? Coiled sword fragment. Walk into this. Uh, walk into this. There we go. Can I have your axe? 
Yeah. Hornet ring. I, I almost just did it again. Boost critical attacks. Yeah, infinite homeward bones is, is just real nice. Especially for, um... What the hell is that area called? The, um... Arch Dragon Peak, where we'll be going next. Yeah, hell yeah. Let's replace those bones. Very nice. And I think there's, like, a decent amount of other stuff hidden around here. Well, fancy a lost lamb. Well, now, what can this... That's kind of weird that she's just also here. Oh, and she sells you Artorius's armor, huh? That's cute. I like that. Um, I do kind of think his armor is a little ugly. Yeah, Nameless King is just so good. It's always I, I always thought it was weird how open the area behind Andre is here. Um, are there other? things around. I want to say in one of these little areas there's like a an item you need for one of the endings. There's like an illusory wall. It's, I bet you it's on the other side. Um, and then I think there might be something all the way up at the top. I can't quite remember. Yeah, this is a fake-ass wall. Oh, and it, it, like, didn't animate at all. It just popped out of existence. That was weird. I was gonna go for the fun, like, marriage ending, where you have to do a whole bunch of stuff, and then you, like, stab Henri through the face. Um, but I, uh, I fucked something up, and it, it didn't... Like, I didn't look up how to do it. I was just kind of going off vibes. Um, and, and I, I just, like, failed to do it properly. I... I feel like, is there something on Ludlith's throne? No, it's just empty here? Sure. Uh, so I, I guess I could um, use the eyes to get like the dark ending. But um, I, I don't think I can do the ending that I wanted to anymore. It was a little sad, but... Oh yeah, one of the things that was kind of goofy about... Um, Elden Ring. Oh, yeah, have a good night, Pot Noodles. Um, was ha oh, I wonder? Can I do the jump here? Um, they had like a bunch of endings, and not all of them were uh, like achievements associated with them. So you only needed like the main endings, um, not the other like five. I thought it would have been genuinely really funny if they like to get all the achievements. You had to get like. Dung Eater's ending, and, like, Fia's ending, and Gold Mask's ending and stuff. I don't remember how many others there were. Those were just the ones that I could think of off the top of my head. <laughs> Thank you so much, Pod Noodles. It's very kind. You know, I I'm pretty sure this is just nothing, so... Going for the jump again is, is just a waste of time, but it would be funny if there was something up here. Like, I don't think the devs intend for you to be able to even get up here um, in this area, because the door, uh, there's no not even a prompt at the door. Come on, I, I did this, like, third try on the f first stream. No jump, sadly. Okay, well, I'm, I'm not going to waste too much more time bothering with that. Let's just head back to Firelink. And that'll be that. Um, yeah, let me see what else is there to do. Uh, go into Archdragon Peak. And then the Grand Archives. And... And then the DLC. Yeah, so probably, like, a few more streams. Yeah, thanks thanks for coming out, Rocket Cat. I'm really sorry I, I keep streaming at times that are hard for you to get to, but I, I have a good time every time you're here in chat, so I appreciate it. And I'll, I'll see you next time. Take care.